Hey guys, I'm Professor Levi. I'm 15 and live in the UK. You like water, right? Who doesn't? And you probably know it has these three states. Oh, you're wondering who the cube is? This is Cubix. Say hi, buddy. Yes, he does speak another language, but I think I've got it figured out. Let's talk about these states. We have water, which is a liquid, ice, which is a solid, and vapor, which is a gas. Each of these states can change into the other states through condensation, evaporation, melting, freezing, and so on. Let's take a closer look at each, starting with ice. Molecules are the smallest part of a substance that are still made of that substance. For example, a single water molecule would still melt when left out in the sun. But when we break down those molecules, we get atoms. Water is also referred to as H2O, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. When these water molecules are exposed to temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius, they come together and form a strong hexagonal 3D structure which becomes ice. Good point Cubics, unlike water and vapour molecules, ice molecules don't move. And yes, it is cold in here. Now let's go check out some actual water. Inside the water we have the same H2O molecules as in the ice. But the water molecules in temperatures above zero and below 100 degrees Celsius form loose bonds with each other, causing that smooth, wiggly, jiggly flow of water that we all know and love. Where did you learn those moves, Cubics? Now let's take a look at water, vapor, or steam. Hey, Cubics, can you help us out? Uh oh, um, Cubics, I think you're gonna have to catch that vapor. Oh, oh, huh? What? I'm awake. Oh, good job, Cubics. Now let's check out this vapor. Inside the vapour or steam, the H2O molecules have been exposed to temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius. This makes them drift apart, and because they are hot, they become lighter than air. That causes them to rise, and eventually, the steam mixes with the air. Now there's actually one more state. Well, okay, not really. This state that I'm talking about is a mix of them all. And our experiment today is going to show how that's even possible. We're going to need a vacuum chamber with a pressure gauge, a petri dish filled with water. We put the petri dish inside the vacuum and turn it on. The pressure and temperature start decreasing immediately and the water starts to boil. As we start reaching a temperature of 0.01 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 611.5 PA, a thin layer of ice forms on the top and vapor bubbles float in the liquid. We have reached the triple point. Also, PA is just a measurement of pressure. This point is the state between all the other states, and at the right temperature and pressure, they can all be present. Thanks for watching, and I think Cubic says goodbye as well.